you have a problem in clinical practice, the go-to person is Dr. Nitin Shah, past president of IAP and a very eminent hemato-oncologist and an expert on vaccination. So my question to you is, what is the role of iron in a child's life? So Dr. Samir, iron is very important for every baby's growth. As you know, iron is part of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen. So lack of iron will lead to anemia, which will have devastating effect on the child's tiredness, child's uh, ability to perform. But more than anemia, which everyone knows, we don't understand that iron is also part of other hormones, especially in the brain. So iron deficiency beyond anemia can be devastating for a growing child for the first five years. It can lead to irritability, restless leg syndrome, breath-holding spasm that we all know. But more important, it leads to cognitive dysfunction. And even when you correct anemia, the iron damages the brain so much that the cognitive dysfunction can remain even up to adolescence. And that can lead to a difficult adolescence, failure in exams, needing more help for passing exams and so on and so forth. Besides that, iron deficiency can also lead to arterial strokes and venous strokes. And if a mother is iron deficient, it can lead to iron deficiency in the baby's right at birth, leading to smaller weight, smaller placenta, and a smaller brain size, which reflects a small head circumference. That is the reason why every baby should be given iron, especially when they double the birth weight, which is usually four to six months in a full-term child, and maybe as early as six to eight weeks in a preterm child. And you continue iron almost till adolescence. Uh, initially, you give twice a week or once a week. That also is enough. But give iron so that the child can grow well.